Welcome folks, my name is Mark Mahaffey and today we're going to be covering a continuation of our video, Watercolor Painting on Yupo. We're going to create another version of a non-objective or abstract painting also on Yupo. Then we're going to take that non-objective painting and using transparent watercolor, gouache, and other water-soluble media, we're going to give you more options for defining the large shapes and to work it towards a more representational figure. So let's talk about Yupo, our materials, and have some fun. My large flat, and we're just going to activate that paint and put it into solution. Oh, I see a resist from somebody's fingerprints right there. So I'm going to show you a way to get rid of those. The alcohol did not. Take the heel of your brush, scrub. Gone. There you go. Oh, more. Gone. So remember, I'm just playing. It was a conscious decision to use these warm colors. You'll notice that I have blue over here, and this is red, red, orange. I know that if I mix blue with this red, red, orange, I'm going to make a violet right here. But as soon as that yellow component gets into the blue, notice that my violet now has become a neutralized violet because we're working back, back and forth um, with complementary colors, opposite sides of the color wheel. So let's do make an incident. And you, uh, did you see me move? I move that stencil. Number one, I know when I remove this paint, which will remove this, of course, and create an incident along this edge, I really didn't want this edge to be dead center in the middle of the paper. So I had to move it to the right a little bit so that this, which is going to be this shape, was not dead center. Also, I'm paying particular attention to make sure that this edge is not parallel to this edge or this edge, and the same thing with these edges, not parallel with this one or this one. So there's a lot to think about as we go through this process. Paper towel, plain water, get it off. If you use too much water, it's going to seep underneath your stencil and you'll get a ragged edge. Some people like that. I kind of prefer a crisp edge. Again, it's entirely up to you how much of this paint you leave. So I could leave it stained slightly with that cool red, like that. It'll look like a separate shape, different from the ground. Or I can get a clean paper towel. And water again, and I can take it all off. I'm going to cover up a shape right here. Notice that this repeat can start from right here. Um, I always have the option of doing this and retaining some of that. So I could go around it and keep it like this. Maybe I'll ghost it. Ghosting is where we have the image uh, at full force like this, but we want to push it back, visually push it back. So I'm going to push that rectangle back, and by that I'm going to roll over it with a light pressure, and I'm the one that's in control of how much that rectangle gets pushed back. So it still shows, but it's not as strong as it was. And I think I'll go this transition up here. That's pushing, this is a lot of value contrast between white and black. 
also between the dark red violet and the white. And because I ghosted this up here, it made that less stark, less um, in your face, so to speak, in terms of the value contrast. We're starting to run out of paint, so we'll recharge the roller. And this is kind of a pointer. We're going to stop that pointer right there. And I think I'd like this. Notice that this edge and this edge are on the same line, more or less. I think I'd like to change that. It's a design decision that I'm making on the fly. Again, I have to remind you that um, the decisions that I'm making for you on camera, uh, the time is much compressed. I do this a lot faster than I would do it in my studio, um, but you'd get bored to death with watching me stare at this, so we're going rather quickly for you. I think I would like to change that at, and put it at an angle. And we're going to keep this little red indentation right there. And that may make it too strong, but I rather like that sticking up into that black space. Uh-oh, I do that a lot. So do be careful. See the mess I created? Mm -hmm. We'll put the mess down there and continue.